this is the structure of abstract factory pattern. We will see how this is implemented in Objective C source. Here is the protocol abstract product one. It has method display. So it will be implemented in its subclasses. Here is the class product one underscore one, subclass of abstract product one. And it implements the method display. Inside this, it just displays this statement. Here is the product one underscore two, subclass of abstract product one. And here it implements the method display. Inside this, it just displays this statement. Here is the protocol abstract product 2. It has method display, so it will be implemented in its subclasses. Here is the class product 2 underscore 1, subclass of abstract product 2. And here it implements the method display. Inside this, it just displays this statement. And here is the class product 2 underscore 2, subclass of abstract product 2 and here it implements the method display. Inside this, it just displays this statement. Here is the protocol abstract factory. It has method create product 1 and create product 2. So they will be implemented in its subclasses. Here is the class concrete factory 1, subclass of abstract factory and it implements the method create product 1 and create product 2. So inside the method create product 1, it creates the object of class product 1 underscore 1 and returns it. And inside the method create product 2, it creates the object of class product 2 underscore 1 and returns it. So we can see Concrete factory 1 is creating series 1 product 1 underscore 1 and 2 underscore 1. Here is the class concrete factory 2 subclass of abstract factory and it implements the method create product 1 and create product 2. Inside create product 1 it creates the object of product 1 underscore 2 and returns it. Inside create product 2 method, it creates the object of product 2 underscore 2 and returns it. So we can see concrete factory 2 is creating series 2 product, product 1 underscore 2 and 2 underscore 2. Okay, let's see the main. Here we are creating object of concrete factory 1 and we are assigning to variable factory 1 which has type id and protocol abstract factory and here we are creating object of concrete factory 2 and assigning to variable factory 2 of type id and protocol abstract factory. Here we are declaring the variable prod1 of type id and protocol abstract product1 and here the variable prod2 is declared of type id and protocol abstract product2. Here we are calling the method create product1 of factory1. Factory1 is pointing to concrete factory1 object. So it will go to concrete factory 1 create product 1. So it comes here and here we can see it's creating the object of product 1 underscore 1 and returning it. So the return product 1 underscore 1 object is assigned to variable prod 1. So here we are calling the method display of prod 1. So it will go to the product 1 underscore 1 display. So it will come here and it, is, it will display this statement inside product 1 underscore 1 display.
here we are calling the method create product 2 of factory 1 so it will go to concrete factory 1 create product 2 so it will come here it will create object of product 2 underscore 1 and returns it so product 2 underscore 1 object is assigned to variable prod 2 so when the method display is called of prod 2 it will go to product 2 underscore 1 display so it will come here and it will display this statement so we can see with these statements we are creating series 1 products using factory 1 and here through these statements we are creating series 2 product using factory 2 so similarly here we are calling the method create product 1 of factory 2 factory 2 is of type concrete factory 2 so it will go to concrete factory 2 create product 1 so it will come here it will create the object of product 1 underscore 2 and returns it so product 1 underscore 2 object is assigned to prod 1 and when this is called it will go to the go to the display of product 1 underscore 2 So it will come here and it will display this statement product 1 underscore 2 of display of product 1 underscore 2 and here we are calling the method create product 2 of factory 2 so it will go to concrete factory 2 create product 2. So it will come here, it will create the object of product 2 underscore 2 and returns it. So product 2 underscore 2 object will be assigned to variable prod. So when we are calling the display method, it will go to product 2 underscore 2 display. So it will come here and it will display this statement okay we will run this program and we will see the output so we can see when the method display is called here then it goes to product 1 underscore 1 display because through this the return object is product 1 underscore 1 so it comes here and it, it displays this inside product 1 underscore 1 display you can see this Similarly, when the display method is called here, then create product 2 returned object edge of factory 1 edge product 2 underscore 1. So it goes to product 2 underscore 1 display. So it comes here and it displays this statement. Similarly, here 
when the display method is called here then it goes to product 1 underscore 2 it's a series 2 product so it will go to the product 1 underscore 2 display so it comes here and it displays this statement and in this one product prod 2 edge product 2 underscore 2 object so it will go to the product 2 underscore 2 display and it will display the statement so it will come here and it will display this statement you can see these two are series 1 product and these two are series 2 product 